Hi guys, welcome to our channel of Sciences and Mathematics. Today we are going to look at a concept in chemistry, and that is a, a topic under volumetric analysis, and that is going to be the concept of normality. Now there are different ways in which we can be able to express the nature or the, maybe the characteristic of a solution, especially when we are trying to do a chemical analysis. In this case, of course, we have seen some concepts like uh, molarity and others which are used to express the concentration of a solution. And this takes into account, of course, the amount or the quantities both in a solution form, which is a liquid, the quantity in liters, and the, of course the amount or the mass of the solid that has been used in order to make that solution. So for that case, we are going to see how this concept of normality works. And in any case, we come across this word, a one normal solution we can be able to comprehend. So in that case, thank you and welcome. So as I've said, we are going to look at the concept of uh, volumetric analysis that is used in volumetric analysis and this is the concept of normality now this concept of uh, this term normality is basically abbreviated using the capital M as such and as I've said the, this one is uh, of course analogous to other terms that we use for it or trying to describe the concentration of a solution like molarity etc so in this case, for a normality of a solution, by definition, this is the, 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 the number of equivalents of a solute per liter of a solution. So if we talk about this one, as uh, of course we can find the number of equivalents of a, a solute. liter of a solution so in this case there's one of the terms here that of course is going to be of essence to us now that I'm assuming we understand the concept of a solution and a solute in from basic chemistry so in this case we are having normality defined as the number of equivalents of a solute per liter of a solution now the next question that we are going to ask ourselves what does the term equivalent refer to? So in this case, the, the term equivalent is the mass of a substance that can donate or accept a proton. So in this case, uh, we're going to see for, uh, in regards to this concept of normality, is the amount of a substance that is in terms of a mass or basically we can just see some mass of a substance that can donate that can donate or maybe accept one mole of a proton so basically trying to infer the concept or trying to, 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 to derive the concept of normality from this particular term that we have mentioned here as an equivalent. We are also having the concept of amount of a substance or mass of a substance that can donate or accept. So these two specific terms implies the nature of a chemical reaction. For substances that accept or donate uh, a proton from the Arrhenius definition of an acid and a base, we can refer this one to an acid and a base respectively for that case because an acid donates an, a proton and then for this one uh, of course for a base it can accept that one that is for an acid base reaction so that in that case of course uh, we can as well say now that an, uh, an equivalent is the mass of a substance that can donate or accept one mole of a proton for acids and bases as I've done respectively or the mass of a substance that can donate or accept one electron so if we do a substitution for a proton, we can state a mass of a substance that can accept uh, or donate an electron. So this one regards to redox reactions. This is a reduction oxidation reactions. It refers to the concept of an electron. Now for this one, for a proton donating or accepting, it refers to the concept of, of course, uh, an acid base. 
So from that particular reference, therefore, we can understand that the number of equivalents of a solute per litre of a solution. So in this case, let's try to look at an example of this kind of a concept that we refer to as a normality. So if I give an example and try to look at it and try to figure out what is the normality of that, we can give or the equivalent of that. So let's start with the equivalent. For instance, I have a hydrochloric acid. Then from the from from the, the, the from maybe our periodic table or elsewhere we can be able to get this relative atomic mass for both of these uh, elements that are making um, that compound. So the relative atomic mass for this one is 35.5 and then for hydrogen it's 1. So therefore if we try to see that we can find the relative formula mass which is 35.5 plus 1, 36.5. So this is uh, the relative formula mass for HCl. And now that we have defined an equivalent as the mass of a substance that can donate or accept one proton, if we write an ionic equation for this particular kind of a, a compound, then we can see that HCl can be able to donate one electron. Therefore, if this relative formula mass represented by this equation can be able to donate one electron, therefore we can say that the equivalent the equivalent of HCl is equals 36.5 grams of HCl. So which means one equivalent of HCl is equals 36.5 grams of HCl because it donates a single hydrogen ion as I've demonstrated using this particular equation. So therefore, suppose we look at another acid that is different from a, or maybe a substance that can donate a proton that, is, as we have said, for an acid. I talked about the Arrhenius definition of acid base. So in this case, if we try to look at uh, another substance that is sulfuric acid, and if we write an ionic equation for this sulfuric acid, we will have uh, H plus SO for G. So if we try to look at that kind of an equation, the equivalent of a uh, Sulfuric acid will be different from the one that we have talked about of uh, hydrochloric acid in that if we try to find the relative formula mass for this compound, it's going to be 2 for hydrogen plus 32 for sulfur plus this is 16 by 4, 64. So this is 34 plus 64, which is going to give us 98. So the relative formula mass sulfuric acid is 98 and this relative formula mass donates two protons so in actual sense from the definition of an equivalent is the mass that can be able to donate one proton so therefore for us to find the equivalent for this acid it's 98 divided by 2 in order to find the mass for one proton these are grams so therefore this is going to be 49 grams which are going to donate one electron Therefore, we can say for sulfuric acid, 49 grams of the acid is the mass that can donate a single proton. So therefore, that is the normal or the normality of that acid. So and uh, we can just look at another example in order to conclude uh, that. So we have a, a compound like magnesium hydroxide. So for this case, uh, this is uh, just a minute. If we have a compound like magnesium hydroxide, of course, we are going to find the relative formula mass. Uh, the relative formula mass for that is going to be this is 24 plus uh, 17 by 2. That's going to be 58 grams. 58 grams for this relative formula mass. So if we have 58 grams 
And let's try to see how this one is going to dissociate in forms of iron. So it's going to be positive plus uh, this is a uh, OH negative 2. So in this case, we're going to see that this is going to donate or accept two electrons. We have said that uh, um, it's a mass, an equivalent is the mass of a substance that we can be able to donate or accept. So if we have that one taking part in a reaction, then it's going to accept two electrons. So therefore, for this relative formula mass that is going to accept two protons, therefore we can say the equivalent is 29 grams of this particular substance. So therefore, one normal solution contains one equivalent of solute per liter of a solution. So therefore, now that we have demonstrated how we can be able to find the amount of mass that can donate an electron from the specific formula of the substances we have given, or the, the compounds that we have given, we can therefore say, print line, one normal solution contains one equivalent now that we have defined what an equivalent is, mass of solute per liter of a solution. Now let's try to look at an example for the two acids we have given. For one normal sulfuric acid, we have said now it will contain 49 grams of that acid in one liter of a solution. So basically for HCl as well, so for HCl we have seen it's going to of course contain two, two normal of HCl will contain that is 36. Uh, one normal was containing 36.5 the way we had just inferred, so this is uh, grams. So therefore two for this is going to contain 73 grams of acid per liter of the solution. So basically, in case we come across this concept of uh, normality, this is the strategy that we are going to use in order to find what is the normality of that particular solution, comparing the relative formula mass for substances uh, that is especially donate or accept a proton, or maybe the one that are going to be, of course, uh, donate or accepting an elect electron in a reduction oxidation, which you refer to as a redox reaction. So basically, guys, that's how we can be able to be able to state the normality of a solution, especially when we're trying to do some uh, volumetric analysis or trying to refer to a substance that requires us to define the concept of normality. So that is it for today, guys. By God bless you.